Hey there creators, Neof here, and uh, this is going to be kind of a short video, uh, we'll see how it goes, <laughs> but um, so I just got back from a vacation in Florida, and now I'm back in New Hampshire, so I'm wearing a sweater because I'm cold. <laughs> um, so uh, my trip to Florida was a uh, family reunion for my side, and only I went I uh, from my immediate family here. Uh, my husband stayed home with the kids, and... Yeah, so I got to see a bunch of family. Now, um, what this video is about is kind of going over uh, what I packed in my carry-on, uh, my personal item for the plane ride and the art kind of stuff. <laughs> so, um, obviously, uh, flying from New Hampshire to uh, Florida, I wanted to have something to do on the plane, and of course that's gotta be art, right? <laughs> So, um, all right. So, uh, for so I know I I knew I wanted to pack um, markers, and I actually packed a bunch of them in this little case here, and I was probably able to fit a good, um, I don't know, like fifteen markers in here. Um, some of these I got while I was on my trip there, um, so not all of these fit in here. Uh, but yeah, about 15 fit in this little bag. And, uh, um, but then, you know, I probably should have just put it straight in a big bag like this because I, I really had no need for this. There was really no need to, to put it in such a small bag. I could have brought a lot more markers and just brought it in uh, this sort of, this big gallon size uh, plastic bag. It was totally fine. So yeah, so I brought up a bunch of markers. Now this uh, item here had all my pencils, my uh, uh, pens, and my watercolor set. That's right, my watercolor brushes. So I had my watercolor set here, and I'll leave a card pop up to the video where I made this. Um, and in this we have a little brush here. Here we go. Of course, I didn't really use this one because I also packed water brushes, so that's basically what I used. And here's a little mixing palette thing. And this is also a mixing palette. This is a mixing palette. Um, and then my watercolors, and that was made out of uh, gum wrappers in there. All right, so yeah, check out that video uh, to see how I made this. All right, so um, I also brought my uh, Derwent water brushes here. There was three sizes. There we go. So I've got those. I have um, a kneadable eraser. I was I had it in here, but it kept getting the watercolors all over it, so I just pulled it out and kept it out. I also have a whole bunch of art pencils, and um, so and I pre-sharpened all of these because I can't bring a sharpener on the plane, um, at least not in the <laughs> carry-on. So um, I pre-sharpened all of my pencils um, so I didn't have to bring a blade on the plane and get in trouble. <laughs> um, so I got a bunch of pencils uh, and some Copic pen, uh, fine liners, a uh, gold pen, and a couple of the uh, white gel pens. And that was what was in this bag. It was jam-packed. <laughs> so, as far as drawing materials went, I brought two of my sketchbooks, um, and I also brought my pack of uh, artist trading cards. And I figured the artist trading cards were what I was going to use the most, and they were. Um, I didn't actually even do anything with my sketchbooks. And along with my sketchbooks, I also, uh, chopped up some, this is uh, a six by eight, um, a six by eight uh, a watercolor paper. So uh, I'll do something with these later. And I also brought this one, this was left over so that uh, I could make a bookmark. So maybe I'll do that in a different video. Um, so yeah, I got that. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything with my sketchbooks though. So um, they just took up space. <laughs> However, that brings me to the art that I did on the plane. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's check that out. 
All right, so I chopped up a bunch of the mixed media paper and a bunch of the uh, watercolor paper so that I could really use both. And of course I could use watercolor on mixed media, but I decided to also have um, watercolor cards uh, specific for watercolor. So yeah, so I made a bunch of these. And so the first piece I did was this and it's, it was with marker, and it says this is all a dream, and it was kind of this um, peeling away of this like blue board in the background, and there's this green thing, and um, the lettering I did in, in a gold uh, pen, um, gold marker, um, and yeah, I, I don't know why I wrote this is all a dream, it was just something random <laughs> that uh, I kind of picked out, so yeah, there's that one. So I also did a little watercolor of a uh, humpback whale here. And this was actually one of the smaller, this this card was smaller than the other sizes. As you can see, it's, it's just a little bit smaller, see? Um, so I took another one of those uh, mixed media cards and I just kind of used a marker to um, randomly color right here. And then I'm going to glue this like that so there you go so that's what that's going to look like all right next up so also on the plane ride and these are uh, these three were done on the plane ride to uh, Florida um, and actually I have another one on there all right so this one was a little cute one I did of a kind of a robot guy and it says Bitco bot only $59.99 plus shipping and handling get yours today and I don't you know it's just something cute and silly <laughs> but that was really fun so let me put that over there so I also have this one that I never finished I started it but never finished it and it was just a, a lily that I was doing and this was when I realized that I I really didn't bring um, I didn't very bring very many pinks or and I didn't bring any reds I ended up buying a red while I was out there so I I went with blue on this and I just never finished because we were landing and yeah so that one is unfinished maybe I'll finish it later <laughs> so the plane ride back um, I really just did one piece and I was in the middle of doing another one and never finished um, so this was the watercolor that I did um, on the plane ride back and I actually really liked the way this one turned out it was very nice wasn't sure what I was going to do but then I started to do a sky and I started to do um, some water and um, then once I was done with the sky and water I, I painted a little a uh, boat off in the background and I felt like it needed something else so I just uh, painted on some buoys on top of that with a rope going that way so yeah I was actually really happy with this one and this is another one that I never finished um, it was just a key with a feather and stuff that I was still working on when we were landing so that is unfinished and um, I do have one that I did once we got home and this is a little fox that I did <laughs> at home. Uh, actually, I used my daughter's uh, alcohol markers with these ones. So these, this one was done with the uh, the oh, uh, Ohuhu markers. And I used some of my metallic markers on that as well. And I also got this fox washi tape while I was out there. So I thought that was cute to put on the back. Now, I haven't done the backs of any of these, um, which I do plan to do, um, just so it's finished and complete. Um, and yeah, all right, so there are the pieces that I did. Um, some of them are not done. One I did as soon as I got back. And these I did finished on the plane. So there we go. Um, all right, so that was a, fu a really fun trip and um, I enjoyed all the things that I brought with me. Um, I really didn't need such a small case for the markers. I could just use a gallon size bag and the next time I fly, I'll, I'll just do that. I'll put it in a gallon size uh, Ziploc bag. Um, and I, I didn't use any, I didn't use my sketchbooks at all, but the the artist trading cards were just perfect to do on the plane, especially since the, the 
area that the plane that I was on, I was I was flying Spirit Airlines, and their seating is quite small. So I was uh, tucked away in the corner, just like really, you know, doing these. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it was really great to see my family. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, later, creators. Bye.